Meanwhile, furious Melbourne GPs have taken aim at the federal government, claiming lies and mismanagement are at the heart of the slow vaccine rollout. Thousands of Victorians are still waiting for the jab, but clinics have been forced to turn away vulnerable people. Laura Turner with more. Victoria's picture of health. Well, that's it. A box of 90 COVID vaccines to service 7,000 eligible patients at this one private clinic in Spotswood. It's really, really frustrating. It, it, it's, um, we, we've been really pissed off about the way that um, general practice in general has been treated throughout this and uh, we just feel like we've been thrown under the bus. Graham Madhu has a compromised immune system and is eligible but his doctor's hands are tied. He was just telling me he would contact me as soon as possible, uh, but at that stage he had no idea when they would be receiving it. The federal opposition calls Australia's progress an embarrassment. Australia should be the best in the world. Currently we're 94th. Rwanda, Bangladesh, Senegal are doing better than Australia. The challenges Australia has had has been a supply problem. It's pure and simple. There was over three million doses from overseas that were contracted that never came. But Nine News understands the Banksia Clinic in Broadmeadows has 500 vaccination shots available but no clientele to receive them. And back in Spotswood, Dr Todd Cameron says the issue is the convoluted application process for clinics to access, then receive the vaccine from the Commonwealth. And we're used to this. This is our bread and butter. Um, we want to do it, but we also don't want to be kind of sold a lie. Graham Madhu has cancelled all his sports and exercise for fear of infection while he Waits for the jab. It was always presented in such a way um, that we're really on top of it. Your expectations get dashed. For doctors administering the vaccine, the Commonwealth promises of mass vaccine hubs and pharmacies to soon share the load a cold comfort when, as they say, there's nothing in the fridge to fill the syringe with. A pain in the backside, you know, uh, a massive pain in the backside. Certainly not what the doctor ordered. Laura Turner, Nine News.